everyone welcome back to another video today I have a really cool video for you guys I decided to go back to this book this is Deborah Muller's adorned fairy hair 2 and this was actually one of my absolute favorite coloring books when I was more so what I would consider myself a beginner where I was still kind of just really learning how to color and learning how to blend my colored pencils together and back when I only had a 36 set of Prismacolors and that's all I was using and there's a page that I colored in here and I am going to actually show you all how you can go back and pull some of your older coloring pages maybe you've been watching my videos or um, somebody else's YouTube videos and you've kind of picked up a lot of new skills with your colored pencils and you want to be able to apply those on a coloring page you can go back to one of your older coloring pages and you can kind of take these tips and tricks along with you and do it on your page that you colored everything that I'm gonna show you you can use any one of your old coloring pages. You don't have to have the same page I'm using. So know that you could just grab anything and you can apply these same exact techniques. I'm going to be working on a portrait in this beautiful coloring book. I love, love, love this coloring book. If you check the description box down below, you will notice, those of you that have gone through everything that I list down there, you will notice that I always keep a list of my favorite things. I probably need to go ahead and update it a little bit, but I always, always make sure that I have this book in that list because this has been and always will be one of my favorite coloring books. And this is actually what started my love of Deborah Muller coloring books and just loving her as an artist because she has so many different um, pieces of art in her books that just appeals to so many different people and, I don't know, different moods. Sometimes you go color something and you're in one mood, but, you know, you wake up the next day and you're in another mood and you want to color something different and one day you want to color a portrait and the other day you want to color some flowers and that's one reason I really love this book because there are so many portraits in here that have things like like if you look at this one you could see like you could practice what you would do with a butterfly she kind of has like these little wings behind her ears or like part of a butterfly wing behind her ear and there are flowers on the pages and there are still portraits and you can decorate the pages with makeup and use your glitter and all of these things. If you want to see my older coloring page from when I considered myself a beginner, stick around for this video because you're going to see that page transform from what it used to be into what I would probably want it to be now. And I want you to know when I colored this page, I was very, very proud of it. Like I absolutely loved it. I still love the page. We are just going to add some different details to the page. As you can see, I've got some things laying here and I'm gonna to try to utilize all of these things and you guys are gonna learn something because you're gonna learn how to use all of these things in your coloring book, all while still being able to transform one of your coloring pages. If you are watching this video and you do enjoy it, please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up because that really helps my videos to be seen by others in the coloring community or others that really just want to learn how to use their colored pencils a little bit better. And if you are not already subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Here is the page that we are going to be transforming. And so let me just tell you a little bit about the page first. So I did only just have the 36 set of Prismacolors. So that is what I used to color this entire page. As most of you know, this is a book that is just printed from Amazon. So it is on that Create Space paper. And so, I don't know, this paper is a little bit more difficult to color on. I colored on it for a very, very long time until I discovered my favorite Spring Hill paper that I always recommend to you guys if you're printing out your coloring pages. So I would love to recolor this page 
on a um, on the Spring Hill paper just so I could see the difference in what I can create and the difference in the way the pencils blend but for today we are just going to add a few things to this coloring page and see what we can come up with now I don't know how much of the um, tooth in this paper is already gone I really I'm really not sure but let me go over some of the things that I used on this page because it is kind of mixed media. The background, actually I think I used colored pencils for the background. Yeah, it looks like colored pencils. I thought maybe I had, I don't even think I had pastels back then yet. But yeah, it looks like it is just yellow colored pencil and I just kind of left some spaces white in some areas just to kind of preserve that highlight a little bit but it doesn't look like it's blended in very well so we can I don't know if I'm gonna do anything to that I might just leave that alone and then all of the flowers and everything and her hair and all of that are all colored pencils they're all Prismacolors and then like here if you're looking at this little diamond on her neck that actually has glitter pen on it and over here on these stars that is actually glitter pen as well I'm pretty sure the glitter pen I used for that was probably these Pentel sparkle pop uh, glitter pens which these are fabulous but I don't like to use them all the time because they kind of change color a little bit it was either these or it was the um, color it gel pens it was one of those I don't think it was a jelly roll because I have one gold jelly roll and it does not work very well. It was actually defective from the time it came out of the package. So I doubt it was the jelly roll. It probably was that sparkle, um, Pentel Sparkle Pop pen. But those are fabulous. Those are one of the best gel pens. The only issue with these is they don't come in enough colors. So I don't use them that often. Okay, so her hair we used a different variety of teals in the Prismacolor set and then this color in here is cream and I don't know if you could see on camera but it's really it didn't blend very well together like you could still see the white of the paper and I don't know if I'll be able to go back and fix some of that what else okay so if you look at the wings you could see that there is glitter on the wings that is all um, stickles that is definitely stickles and if you look at her eyes you could see stickles on her eyes and if you look at the skin you could tell by looking at her skin that I was very much a beginner there's definitely not enough layers on here for her skin and I, I can tell by looking at this that I did know to you know add the darker shades in the skin right around here where something would be kind of laying on top or I wanted to make it look like it was kind of raised that part probably can be fixed just a little bit as well and I don't know it's like I look at this now it's like it looks beautiful if you look at it all together just the way the colors pop and the colors that I chose and everything I did use a color palette I always am using color palettes <laughs> So yeah, I've, I've always, always used color palettes, but it definitely was a color palette. As you can see that I knew how to create balance on the page already, and I did that by making sure the same colors were on one side, and then I brought it kind of up here and down here to her shoulders, and you've got the reds, just the reds and the oranges just kind of all over the page. And you could see the green in her eyes. And then down here, she's got more green on her in the leaves. And then like a little bit over here on her tattoo on her arm. So I knew how to, you know, create balance to the page. So I wouldn't say I was a very much beginner beginner. I was coloring for a little while. But this page can still use a little bit of touch-ups. So we're going to do that on camera today. And I hope you guys pulled out your coloring page. I think I've given you enough time to go grab a coloring page so you guys can do this along with me. But the first thing I want to do on this page is I want to transform her skin. So I've gotten a few colors out of my Prismacolor set. 
And I do not remember what colors I used originally, but I have this light peach and then I have peach. Those are colors I always just generally use. I don't want to add too much to her skin and it's got a really good base layer down there already. So I just want to kind of add a little bit to it. And I, again, I don't know how many layers of the paper have already been used, but then I have this blush pink in the pink and then I've got nectar and I pulled out the henna but I don't even know if I'm going to use the henna because the henna might be going in a little bit too dark even if I'm not even putting any pressure or applying any pressure behind the pencil so I may use that for the shaded areas but I may just go in with henna and do that but I am going to go ahead and start with her skin and the skin may take me a little bit and I want to come back and show you guys all of the fabulous things I'm going to do to create highlights and really kind of make some things pop on this page and use all of these other cool things that I have laying over here in the corner. With that being said, I may have to speed parts of it up because I really want to fix her skin. So let me go ahead and start with, I, I want to test this out first. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. But I want to test this out first and actually see how much tooth is actually left in this paper because as I said earlier, this is the Amazon paper. Oh, we, oh, this is going to be fun. There is tooth left in this paper. Oh, it is still picking up the color. So I'm just going to go over this really quickly with this. This is the light peach and I'm just going to add some more color to her face all over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I mean, I was looking at the page and I was kind of wondering if maybe that it just faded a little bit over time. Now I'm seeing some area in here where it's kind of creating a line. I don't know why some of the pages do that. Like there's nothing behind it. Oh, this is going to be fun. And I did take a before picture so that I could compare the difference and look at the before and after. So let's go ahead and come down here and I'm going to just lay some more of this light peach all around to add a little more color to her skin. And see, this will show you guys that it's not always so bad to work in these Amazon books. I worked in these Amazon books for the longest time. But it's, it's almost like once you get um, paper spoiled, <laughs> is that what I want to call it? But once you get a little paper spoiled, then things change. <laughs> But if you're not someone who wants to keep adding layers and layers and layers, then this is great. And you will notice that you guys, you will pick things up over time. As you learn and you watch tutorials, whether it be mine or someone else on YouTube, you will learn that you will pick so many things up and learn as you go and it is so important just to apply all those things to your pages okay so how about if we come back in and maybe start adding a little bit of a darker color in some of the areas where I would like to see a little bit more of a dramatic shadow. So I've got my nectar and I'm going to go ahead and do that up here. Oh, look at the difference. See, when you're coloring skin, all of this in here, oh, this is going to be 
a dramatic change. I don't even know if in the 36 set if you get a nectar. Uh, and see, I'm, I've got glitter there, so I'm kind of going over the glitter a little bit, but this is going to be pretty dramatic, guys. I can already see the color laying down and completely changing her. Oh, how cool. So let's come back over here, over this eyebrow. And then right here, I want to add some definition to where her nose would be. Kind of draw it in just a little bit. This paper is actually not so bad to color on. I'm really liking this. The Prismacolors work well with it. Look at the difference.
wanted to take a little bit of a break so I could kind of explain everything that I've done so far. So I just really came back and added a little bit more definition here around her nose. As you can see, I've added a lot more color. I left my highlights exactly where I want my highlights to be because I'm going to come back in a little while further into the video and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do to really accentuate those highlights that I have left in those areas. And now I am coming down here to the rest of her skin and I am just using my Nectar, which is the darkest, darkest of my skin colors. And I'm going to come in and around all of the areas where I've got something laying to the front of her skin. And I'm coming in, I'm just going to be shading in and all around these areas, just kind of like this. And I'm going to come a little bit further up with this color because I probably am going to come back again with my henna. I know I said earlier I wasn't sure if I was going to use the henna, but as you could see on her face, when I was coloring in her face, I did come back and I added the henna in just a few different areas, like you could see it right here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to just blend that in. Let me go ahead and do that now. So that will just kind of be blended in. And so now you can see what a huge difference that is going to make. But hopefully you could already see the huge, oh, that looks really good. I'm gonna come back and add a little bit more of that so that I could kind of blend it in in this area. But do you guys see so far like what you can pick up as time moves on? and what you're able to create with your colored pencils it's just really truly amazing and if you're looking at this there was kind of a grayed out area here so the artist or deborah muller i should say left that area there to kind of show you that that is where the shadow is actually hitting her face and so it kind of just gives you a little bit of a guide so like if i look down here on her skin and I can see that this area is kind of, or has like quite a bit of gray. I'm holding my hands way far back here so that I don't lay too much of this color because this color is fairly dark, but I'm going to lay this kind of in these areas and then I'm gonna come back with my henna and I'm gonna go in a circular motion and I'm going to pull all of this through with that color and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to blend it in a little bit more with my peach and kind of pull those colors together but if you saw previously what I had done you know before we even started and you could even flip back in the video and you can see the difference already in just what coming back to this coloring page and adding all of these extra details in I don't know, I came up with this idea just all of a sudden and I thought it would be so cool to do because I thought it would be so cool also for me to be able to go back and watch it like in, you know, sped up and kind of see what I was able to create. I mean, this is just so such a great idea. Like it really was such a great idea and I'm hoping that this video shows y'all that you can learn so much over time if you just keep practicing. I mean really y'all, I never ever imagined that I would be sitting here making these kind of tutorial videos and showing other people how to use colored pencils like I never, ever, ever imagined that I would ever be doing anything like this. So, you know, and I never really, I never imagined even when I made that first video or sat down to do my first tutorial that 
my channel would just grow at the rate that it has. And so I think a lot of us are a lot like me where we are just coloring and we, you know, everybody's their own worst critic. And so we just really don't ever think that whatever it is that we're doing or our own coloring is, I don't know, I just, I really didn't think that I was that great of a colorist. I really never did. And I will say also that I've learned a lot since I've been making these videos. And I don't know, I think that my coloring has kind of evolved a little bit over the last nine, ten months since I created this channel. At least I would like to think that it has. And some of the things that I show you guys are the tutorials that I bring to you. They are not something that I've ever done before. Like when you guys wanted to, when we did the color along um, over the uh, holidays and it was the Christmas color along in the Joanna Basford books. I never colored snow before. And I had to just put some stuff together and figure it out so that I could bring you guys a tutorial. But a lot of the things that you guys ask me to do or to bring a tutorial to you, a lot of those things I've not done and I just kind of have to teach myself so that I could show y'all how to do it but I don't know I've always been that way I've always just been kind of a self-taught type of person and I've mentioned that in in previous videos that anything that I've ever want to learn I always find a way to learn it Let me come back and kind of pull some of this through with my henna and blend it out so that we don't have any harsh lines. But gosh, y'all, look at the difference. <laughs> when this is done, the side by side is going to be utterly amazing. And it's like to think that like when I first colored this, I loved it like I really really did and I was still happy with it before I came back and did this and I don't know where I got this idea to come and do this I just I don't know it just popped in my head like that would be so cool to come in or grab one of my old coloring pages and transform it like so so cool and I was gonna do it off camera and I'm like why am I not gonna pull out the camera and show everybody else how I can or how you can actually because if I can do it you guys can do it but yeah like I don't know I just thought this was a really cool video idea and a fantastic tutorial and the thing is that you guys are learning that this Amazon paper is actually really great to color on because I'm still and I've not colored on the Amazon paper in so long because I've been using the Spring Hill paper so much all the time and just kind of printing out my coloring pages but and the other reason I kind of like to do that is because I like to keep my coloring pages so that if I you know like I tell you guys all the time like if I do something that I don't like or I feel like I messed up I like to have a copy of the coloring page to be able to reprint and then just kind of color it as many times as I would want to. 
And see, the other thing, like, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use this uh, henna color because I think it might be too dark, but oh my gosh. And then the henna and the nectar together. So, so pretty. And this should show you guys also when you're coloring something and it's like you think you're done go back and add another layer or another two layers or another three layers <laughs> as you can see from this I had quite a few layers left in this paper and you guys know this is going to be another very long video because I want to be able to do all of this in one. You know what? Maybe I'll split it into two videos so that I could show you in a separate video how I'm going to go back and add all of the highlights. I don't know. We'll see how long this video goes. But I think I've already almost exhausted one battery and I have not finished the rest of the skin. I think now that I have taken a break to explain some of this to y'all, I'm going to have to speed a little bit more of this up to some music, especially when I come back with my peach and I kind of pull all of this together. But it's not going to be my light peach, it's going to be the... Uh, just regular peach color that I'm going to come back and just kind of pull all of this through and blend it out so that I don't have all these very flat lines and I want to get rid of most of the white on this paper I don't know I'm enjoying this Amazon paper guys I really am So let me go ahead and come back and I'm going to use my peach and I'm going to kind of pull some of those colors out and I'm going to speed that part up to music. just coming back with my light peach and I'm just kind of going over a lot of this and blending all of the colors together and I'm trying to kind of leave a little bit of highlights like here in the centers just so she has a lot of variance in colors and this is a little bit of a different situation because like she's got tattoos all over her arms so I'm trying to get the tattoos to really stand out and as I look at this page even more it's like I just want to come back and go over the entire page all of the butterflies and everything but I think for this video I am going to do the skin and show you how that is transformed so we are going to come back and I'm going to start coming into the center area. I think that a lot of this kind of looks blended out. So I'm going to grab my henna. My gosh, y'all, I'm looking at all these flowers and everything. It's like I just want to recolor the entire page. <laughs> oh, how did I get myself into this? Okay, so I've got my henna. And I am just adding my shadows where, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm just adding my shadows where they would go. And we're going to make sure this cute little owl here really stands out. I 
Oh, this is so much fun. Like, it really is. So, I'm just kind of outlining here where I would naturally have a shadow. And if you're following along and you're doing a portrait type thing, don't get scared by the henna. Just kind of lay it on the outer edges where you would have a lot of shade. Like here we've got her hair and then we've got the owl. So of course there would be more shadowing in these areas. And then all down here where her clothing is, we want to make it look like her clothing is on the top. So we're going to make sure we get a good amount of color in there. Gosh, I hope you guys are seeing like how much how much you can learn over time. And those of you that have a smaller Prisma color set, how many of you are going to run out right now and go get the 150 set? <laughs> so you can just have all the colors. I already exhausted one battery, so I figured I would color a little bit of this off camera so that y'all could see um, it all come together as I kind of blended it out and I'll do that to speed. But what I did is I just came in here and I used my henna and my nectar, which are my two shadowing colors for my um, skin color combination. And I came in here and I just added all of those colors in here. They're not blended yet. And I did it just like I did like you guys saw over here on this arm and I added a little bit where it needs to go down here and then on the top part here and I'm trying to really just make this owl stand out quite a bit and there over here in this area there's going to be a lot more shadows because we've got the owl and then we've got her clothing and they are kind of very close together So with that being said, you're going to have a lot more of a shadowed area just because you've got so much laying within a space. And so it would create more of a shadow over here. I've got a lot of the color laid right here in this corner and then a lot of it laid over here just to really create that shadow as well. And then you just want to keep coming back with your colors and making sure that you blend everything out. And this paper is doing so well. I'm really enjoying working on this paper and oh my gosh, I used to work on this paper so much and I'm actually not minding it at all and it is working beautifully. Oh my gosh, guys, now I'm going to go to want to go uh, order some coloring books. That's, I don't know how good that is. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to add a little bit more of the henna in these areas because I want it to be a little bit darker in these spaces. And I really want that shadow to really stand out. And I want my owl to really stand out. And then I'm going to come back and pull it all down so that we are blending it out and don't have anything that looks flat. You don't ever want your coloring to look flat and that's why we keep going back and forth and doing all of this. And if you see this area up here, she's got all her hair kind of laying here over her um, neck area. And so all of that is going to have to, you're going to have it have, or you should have a lot more shadow in this area here because of that, because you've got her hair kind of laying on top of her skin. Gosh, guys, I can't imagine how long this video is going to be, I might have to come back with a part two. I might do the skin in this video 
and then come back and show you all of the tricks and everything on how to add all of the highlights we will see what happens I'm gonna come back now and I'm going to use my um, oh I need to use my peach first so I'm gonna use my peach and I'm gonna kind of add a little bit of color in all of these areas I've already gone over so I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up to music now come back down here and I'm going to do the same thing with the peach and I'm just kind of pulling all of these colors together and trying to get rid of a lot of that white of the paper and I'm still leaving my highlight areas and if you can see this my lead on my pencil is a little bit blunt here because I'm just kind of trying to spread all these colors down so I'm not really worried right now about having a really sharp lead on my pencil. If I were wanting to get over here behind these letters and such like I did with my um, my henna then in that case I would want a sharper tip to my pencil because you don't want to get that really dark color in the areas where you really don't want it and when you lay it down it will spread because these are Prismacolors and they're super soft so let me come back here with my just need to add a little bit more here to emphasize her tattoos and then I'm going to just kind of go over it a little bit and then come back with my peach and kind of pull all of that through as well. And I'm going to come back with the light peach still. And I want more of the highlight kind of here in the center. And I'm going to use it just to kind of burnish all of the colors together. Okay, so I'm going to come back with my peach. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to burnish all of these colors together. And we are going to speed that up to music as we do that. most of the skin on her body and I really love the way that it turned out but I'm going to come back now to her face and I am just going to change a few things here on her face and I am going to speed this up to music again so y'all could just kind of see it come together
hope you all enjoyed this video. This is what I have come up with so far. And this video has gone on really long. So I know I showed you guys earlier all of these things I have here. And I wanted to be able to also show you a bunch of tricks to be able to use some of these things in your coloring pages. And so I am going to make a part two of that video. And I am going to show you how to add some details to your coloring pages and modify them a little bit just to really make them stand out and create highlights in the areas where you want to see highlights. And I'm going to be doing a little bit more to her skin. And so you're going to see it really start to pop in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Everything you've seen me use in this video will be linked in the description box below. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.